Hi everyone, so I went to Mass today and Father gave a lovely homily on the readings for today. The readings for today both were on widowed women and their faith and trust in God and how they shared everything that they had to live on. The Old Testament uh, reading was focusing on a widow and her son sharing what they had with a visitor to their home and trusting in the Lord to provide. And then the New uh, Testament, the Gospel, we had Jesus watching a widow, putting everything she had to live on in her offering and telling the disciples that she was more generous than all the wealthy because she put in everything that she had to live on. And so too with us, we can be encouraged in hard times that God sees our generosity and that God is with us, particularly for widows and orphans because we are the most disrespected in society. People don't have respect for you when you don't have your dad when, and when you grew up, grew up without your father. They don't give your mother the respect that she deserves and they don't give you the respect that you deserve when you come from a household where you haven't had your dad. But we can always trust in God and we can do our share to help others and to be generous to others. And we can trust in God's word that Jesus sees everything that we do and everything that we offer up to him. Some people give money, but some of us give our time as well. We're generous in other ways in how we contribute to building up God's kingdom. And I think that's something that we can remember. So the readings today were very beautiful. I will post them. I'll post a link from the Toronto um, Archdiocese website. We have them there. If I can't find it there, then I'll post it from where I get my daily Bible readings. But it was good, uh, a good service today. It was nice. There were lots of people in the church after a long time. And sometimes we don't get that full of an attendance. But I noticed today we had quite a good attendance at the Mass. So I like to go whenever I'm well and whenever I can make it, I like to go to the service. Some days I can't make it because of my health. It's not that good. But whenever I'm healthy, I do go. And I like to go to the church. We believe that each Eucharist that we receive is a healing mass and that we are receiving the real body and blood of Christ in the Eucharistic service. So whenever we go to church, we can trust that God is healing us and God is helping us and God is generous because whatever we think is a little God may see that as a lot God is very generous and kind and today there's so many disasters in the world there's so many floods and fires and earthquakes we have uh, the animals even attacking their trainers in the aquariums and things like that but at the end of the day they are wild animals and they have an instinct to be free not to be trapped in aquariums and in places like we used to have sea world places like that so i'm not surprised that they attack people but it is still awful it is still sad to see and we can be generous in in that way too, in showing compassion for the animals, for the earth, and caring for our earth. It's very difficult when you are away from where you grew up in. It takes a lot of time to adjust. And it's the same with me. Like I still miss London, but there's certain things that I don't miss. I don't miss being uh, a peasant serving the king. And I never grew up with that ideology. We were always raised to serve Jesus. We never grew up singing God Save the King. Even in our churches, when I came to Canada, I was surprised that 
at the end of uh, the mass, like on Canada Day, we sang God Save the Queen. I was surprised, and even the national anthem, we sing it in church sometimes. So there are differences like that that I had to get used to, that I had to adjust to. But you adapt wherever you are, and you be generous with your time and with what you're doing for people and for others. And it does come back because when we are generous with others and we help, especially in the global south, eventually it comes back to us. We had a lot of help when we had our fires here in Canada, South Africa, and a lot of different places sent firefighters to help us. And we couldn't have made it without them because it was devastating. We had that smoke was really thick and you get those spores which go into things, into the air and into your lungs. And those can cause a lot of health problems. So there's a lot to be grateful for. And we also have to watch what we eat here in Canada. There's a lot of additives. There's a lot of things that go into the foods. We don't have our uh, grass-fed animals and grain-fed. And if you do buy that type of meat and all that, it's more expensive because it's not the norm. It's the exception rather than the norm. So that was my reflections on the readings for today. I really enjoyed Father's homily as well. And it's important, especially for widows, for women that are on their own. They got taken advantage of even in Jesus' time. They were not treated with the respect they should have been. But in the Jewish tradition, in the Jewish um, way, they are supposed to be given special treatment and special favor especially the widows and the orphans, those without a father. They're supposed to be treated with more generosity, more kindness. And unfortunately, especially under the Roman rule, that didn't happen. So things were harder for them, just like they're harder for us now. I'm sure my life would have been very different if I had grown up with a father. And I'm sure that things could have been very different for our family. But we persevere in our faith in the hard times and we keep our faith. We keep it in our homes. We keep it in our prayer life. And my mother raised us even without my dad to go to church, to go whenever we can and to receive the Eucharist. We read the Bible at home. Often it was on my mother's bed or it was in our bedrooms or in the lounge. We would get together and have Bible study with my cousins. We would have family retreats that we organized and we went together on those retreats. And we enjoyed it. We had a nice time. We were always close to my cousins and we always did everything together from singing to going on retreats and doing things we went camping together, so we were very close and we enjoyed our lives together in Zimbabwe. We all scattered now, but that doesn't mean that we don't keep in touch. We keep in touch and we stay connected because at the end of the day, we were family for each other there and we are still a family for each other. Faith has always been central to our lives and especially for our widows and for those of us who are fatherless. That's how we get our strength and that's where we get our hope and our faith and our joy.